here they come half an hour late that's right dog on millennials late 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 wow wow and no that's not my wagon here's my wagon right here see that millennials 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 unbelievable late 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 Yay! They made it, see? This is a little late millennial right here. See, look. See? Late. Little millennial. Late. Hi, Wendy. You going on YouTube? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You late. You going on YouTube. All right, you got the wheel trucks on, up on jack stands. Let's get these wheels off and change the brakes. Now that our brakes are all cleaned up, we can see the amount of wear on the pads and it looks like we just caught it in time. You can see how thin the brake shoe is right here. So we'll change out these shoes and put on the new ones. Okay, we're getting ready to disassemble the drum brakes and we're going to give you the order and sequence that we plan to do it. We're going to go in and remove this uh, holder, holding clip. We're going to remove this spring next, right here. Okay, we'll remove this spring that holds the adjuster. The next spring that we'll remove will be the retainer here that holds the blade that holds the adjuster. So we'll take this spring off right here next on either side and remove the final holding springs and pins right here. There's one on this side. Focus. There's one on this side and there's one on the other side, there's two of these. You press those in and turn them and remove the cap and that will allow you to remove the spring. So that is what we're going to be doing in that order in case you have a hard time following along. And the next spring we'll take off is the one all the way on the bottom. So we go down underneath, show you that. So here's that little spring underneath. It is right here. It holds the bottom of the shoe. Okay, so we're going to start off by taking off that top clip. Nice. Good job. All right. Now we're, now we're going to take a loose the top spring. We'll do the middle spring, and then we'll do the bottom spring. Good job. Now we're going to take off the retainer spring for the blade that holds the adjuster. I don't know why that was difficult. Good job. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to take the two retaining clips on either side of the shoes off that hold the brake shoes, hold the pin in the back, We'll push in on the clip and turn it 90 degrees to release the cap. Then the bottom spring will come loose on its own. Hold the pin in the back. You gotta hold the pin, I think. There we go. See how easy it is the second time? Hmm. Hmm. Good job. All right, so we got all of the retainers off, so now we can remove the brake shoes and uh, the bottom spring together.
Here's the old and the new. You can see the difference in the thickness of the, the pad wear. Okay, so we installed the first shoe. Okay, and we installed the retaining clip here with the two caps. You put the pin in from the back and it holds everything in place for you. Then you hang your bottom spring right here, okay? You hang your bottom spring and then you put your other brake shoe on that while it's loose and swing it up to the other side. Then, once you have your shoes in place, you reinstall your separator here and then you're done. Okay, so we got the brake tensioner on. The way you do that is you put this left side in first, okay, and then you grab your spring on the right side and you stretch it across and hook it in right here. All the while, you have to make sure you're in the slots on each shoe. One here and one here. Okay, once we get the brakes fully assembled, the new brakes, you will have to adjust the adjuster by turning it up until the brake drum fits snugly over. And if it's too loose, you have to adjust it a little more. We're all done. Little granddaughter Ari is here to check out the work. I'm gonna pull the car out and see if it stops. <laughs> Brakes are all done. Now we get to see if it'll stop. Thanks, Rick. Thanks, Ari. Breaks are done. Good job.